It is your weather video for this Sunday, January the 14th, 2024. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and we got a winter storm headed to Alabama. Lots to talk about. Our uh, winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings have been issued this morning by the uh, National Weather Service offices uh, in Huntsville and Birmingham and its surrounding areas. So we've uh, got a lot to talk about. First, we'll start off with those uh, advisories and warnings. You see them now. Uh, across southern Tennessee, northern Alabama, northwestern Georgia, back into northern Mississippi. Winter storm warnings now in effect for um, most of Tennessee Valley counties of north Alabama. Uh, the exceptions are Morgan, Marshall, and DeKalb, where they have winter weather advisories. I don't want this to be con too confusing, uh, but if you live in uh, Colbert, Franklin, Lawrence, Limestone, Madison, uh, over into um, Jackson counties in North Alabama, including Franklin, um, you've got a winter storm warning. Two to five inches of snow going to cause very hazardous driving conditions starting uh, tonight uh, as early as uh, 6 p.m. in Northwest Alabama. Those accumulations um, will uh, continue into the day on Monday, and uh, it's going to be a mess. Kids are going to love it. Uh, the adults are going to hate it. Um, just uh, travel will be at a nightmare across uh, the winter storm warning counties there of the Tennessee Valley. Now, a little further south, the Weather Service in Birmingham issuing winter storm warnings for, uh, for Marion and Winston counties. Uh, we're expecting closer to two inches of snow, but still that's going to cause very hazardous driving conditions. And on top of that, throw in up to a tenth of an inch of sleet and freezing rain. And of course, it only takes... Uh, a very thin glaze of freezing rain to put everything at a standstill. And um, we're going to deal with that. And on top of this, we're going to have wind chills. They're going to be in uh, the single digits to below zero, as you will see, as this Arctic air mass uh, spills on through the rest of Alabama. And we have our uh, coldest uh, weather of the season. Uh, so temperatures in the single digits, wind chill temperatures in the negative numbers below zero. And this, uh, of course, can be deadly, too, if you're not wearing the proper protection. Now, further to the south, winter weather advisories. We mentioned Morgan County. Um, you know, they could get um, they could get an inch of snow and some of that ice, uh, as well as could Marshall and DeKalb further to the south. Uh, you know, there in the winter weather advisory area that includes parts of Lamar, uh, into Fayette, uh, Walker, uh, areas um, north of Birmingham there, and into Blunt, uh, into Marshall, into Cherokee counties, uh, we're expecting up to an inch of snow. Uh, the impacts will be one inch of snow and a tenth of an inch of ice. This is going to begin as snow as early as 6 p.m. tonight in um, um, probably closer to midnight and then through the day on Monday in the winter weather advisory area. Now, this winter weather advisory area is going to have to be expanded to the south. And um, really areas there uh, from, um, you know, uh, I would say as far south as Clanton and Alex City are, are going to get freezing rain uh, as, the, um, as that precipitation changes over uh, from any or starts out as freezing rain or sleet in these counties uh, during uh, the afternoon and evening hours on Monday. Uh, so that's a picture of, uh, you know, kind of what the warnings are going to um, are going to look out. Let's go to our maps. Uh, this is the GFS early on the Sunday morning showing the pattern across North America with a big trough covering basically the whole United States. That's left the door open for Canada for all this cold air to spill in. We got an Arctic air mass right on our doorstep now uh, over northwest Alabama. As we go through time, disturbances are going to be swinging around this uh, big trough. And as they do, that's going to um, conjure up some precipitation. Uh, across Alabama, the northern uh, part of the state, eventually all of central and, and maybe even down into south Alabama. As we go through the week, that trough will be with us. Uh, we warm up a little bit at the end of the week, but we see another uh, surge of cold air coming in here for next weekend. Then as we get into the week two period, this is out uh, starting next Sunday and Monday. Look at that high pressure, glorious high pressure uh, building over the Great Lakes, uh, affecting us, impacting us here in Alabama with some warmer temperatures. And uh, that will be quite nice. Storm system developing in the desert southwest there around Saturday the 27th. will cool down again as that trough opens up over the northeast. And uh, that will give us some very chilly temperatures next weekend. But as we go out toward the end of the period, uh, ridging warmer air, a January thaw, we 
We'll take these temperatures this morning off the RTMA showing uh, mid to upper 20s across North Alabama. We're in the uh, 29 to 32 range across Central Alabama with uh, some colder regions, uh, South Alabama, uh, even even colder than the Birmingham area, our heat island there. Uh, we're in the 20s as far south as um, South Alabama, places like Evergreen and Greenville, uh, right at freezing at Florala, right on the uh, Florida border with some freezing temperatures even in the Florida panhandle. Now, the temperatures are gonna be important as the precipitation type, um, and, and especially the impacts from uh, from the cold weather, the deep freeze, the, the hard freeze conditions that we're going to experience over the next couple of days, that can lead to pipes freezing. Uh, makes you want to, uh, you make sure that you want to check your pets, uh, check on your friends, your neighbors, uh, you know, pets, people, and property, um, you know, are, are, have got to be our concern just from the cold. And uh, wind chill is going to make things even worse. Um, let's watch what these temperatures do as we go through the day today. We warm up into the 40s uh, in, in areas across central Alabama. The Tennessee Valley, northwestern counties don't get out of the 30s. As you see there, 30 uh, temperatures are already starting to fall, mid 30s, uh, high temperatures across places like Coleman, um, Haleyville. Russellville up into the Shoals, Huntsville, uh, don't get out of the 30s today. 40s up uh, central Alabama, south Alabama will be in the 50s, nice even along the Gulf Coast. Uh, we'll, they'll see some 60s today. But as we go through the overnight hours tonight, the temperatures will be dropping. Tennessee Valley temperatures are going to drop into the uh, mid and uh, upper 20s, seeing the 23 there at Haleyville. This is off the National Digital Forecast Database, official forecast from the Weather Service. We dropped to about 33, 32, 31, 30 in the Birmingham metro area. Uh, I-20 corridor is right around freezing uh, Monday morning, but we're still dry. Uh, we'll see increasing clouds this afternoon. Uh, it'll be clum cloudy tonight. It'll be cloudy when you wake up tomorrow. And uh, those temperatures in the Tennessee Valley are not going to improve. Uh, this is noon on Monday, uh, still below freezing in places like Coleman, Huntsville, Decatur, over into Muscle Shoals, Russellville, 34 at Haleyville. We get to 41 at Birmingham, climbing into the lower 40s. Just to the south, you see upper 40s to near 50. So not a bad day, uh, not bitterly cold, but things are going to start to change. Monday afternoon, that Arctic air mass will get to push it needs, and it will begin to slide further to the south. By 9 p.m., temperatures across the northern third of Alabama are below freezing. We're at 34 in the Birmingham area, but we fall quickly by midnight to 31. And uh, so by that point, we'll have the uh, surface conditions that are there for that icy glaze that we dread. 22 at Haleyville, uh, 3 a.m. down to 20. We're in the teens by um, 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning uh, in places like Jasper, Coleman, uh, Scottsboro, uh, Huntsville, Muscle Shoals, uh, Russellville, Haleyville, there at uh, 16 degrees. And uh, in the middle to upper 20s in the I-20 corridor, and um, temperatures barely recover uh, to around 30 in the Birmingham area. Stay in the teens all day. Uh, well, not teens, but middle 20s all day uh, in the Tennessee Valley. Uh, this is uh, at 3 p.m. But as you move into um, Tuesday night, it's going to be bitterly cold. Uh, getting into the single digits here uh, across uh, northwest Alabama, a few spots will probably hit zero, uh, especially with the snow. Uh, four degrees called for at Haleyville uh, in the single digits there at Huntsville, Muscle Shoals, uh, Jasper, Coleman, uh, up to Jackson. They're going to be in around seven degrees, Birmingham Metro, 12 to 13. Uh, teens as far south as um, places like Troy and uh, Evergreen in South Alabama will barely get, um, will barely hang on to 20, 21 degrees there at places like Dothan uh, and Florala. So it's going to be a bitterly cold night with a hard freeze. Now, throw in the um, wind chill readings, uh, and it's going to feel even colder. Uh, temperatures, our wind chill temperatures are going to be below zero in the Tennessee Valley. So we go through time, uh, well, I don't want to do that. Let's don't go quite that far, but yeah, right here. Single digits across um, central Alabama. We're going to see wind chill readings between zero and five degrees. Uh, single digits all the way to the coast. Uh, Mobile. It's going to be a miserable day on Wednesday. Tennessee Valley uh, readings going to stay you know, below zero. 
uh, in the morning. And uh, they do warm up a little bit during the day. Uh, wind chill values as those winds relax on Wednesday, uh, they're going to they're gonna get back into the 20s, and that's not too bad. Uh, but this is going to create some very dangerous conditions. Um, if you're out, um, you know, Monday night, Tuesday into Tuesday night, wind chill values with those winds gusting to 20 miles an hour are going to, um, you know, freeze exposed skin very easily. So you're going to want to make sure you have proper protection if you're going to be out. Uh, take care of those pets, bring them indoors, make sure they've got plenty of shelter, and check on your neighbors. Uh, those uh, elderly folks that may not be aware of what's happening, friends and family, neighbors, you want to check on them, take care of them, and make sure um, that they are in good shape. Now, let's look at the precipitation. Uh, this is this morning. We're dry here. A little bit of snow up there over West Virginia, the Great Lakes, uh, into New York. A little bit of snow beginning to break out there in southwestern Oklahoma. One of those disturbances. Look at that expand as we head toward the late morning hours this morning. There's that 1,036 millibar high over central Kansas. Snow moves into northern Arkansas, uh, southern Missouri. Uh, as we get into the afternoon hours, and it begins to move our way. Snow uh, there between 3 and 6 tonight over Tennessee, uh, western Tennessee, the northern portion of Mississippi, and that is beginning to edge into north Alabama there uh, between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. tonight. Uh, you'll see in a moment that the European is even more aggressive than this, but we've got light snow over um, northwest Alabama, places like Franklin, Marion, Winston, up to the Shoals, over to the Huntsville area, breaking out by midnight. That snow is continuing through 3 a.m., uh, continuing until 6 a.m., and we see to the west freezing rain and sleet breaking out in east Texas, northern Louisiana, probably be sleeting at places like Ruston and Monroe, uh, El, Dorado, El Dorado in southern Arkansas. Uh, then heavier snow beginning to happen around Hot Springs and Mena in Arkansas, uh, continuing across northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, some heavier snow moving into the delta here by noon and uh, into the northwest corner of Alabama by 3 o'clock. So we'll be watching for that. Sleep on the southern edge of that. Uh, in the Mississippi Delta, back still in Ruston, they're still getting sleep. And uh, the activity is kind of pushing to the east with that, uh, with that second disturbance there for Monday night. Look here. Uh, freezing rain developing in southwest Mississippi, central Louisiana. And uh, some of that freezing rain working its way into... Um, Working its way into central Alabama. That's the 06 run. Going back just one run, look at the heavier precipitation there uh, across central Alabama, uh, according to the GFS. We'll switch over to the European and uh, kind of get a look. You see, it's even uh, more aggressive with the snow over the Tennessee Valley and um, actually uh, a little less aggressive than the GFS, but still showing that icing across central Alabama. That's off the 0 Z run uh, of the European. And so that's um you know what we're going to be really concerned about. Let's look at some uh, let's look at some accumulations of snow uh, first, so we can kind of get an idea of uh, of what you can expect. These are freezing rain totals. Um, as you can see, they begin freezing rain begins to break out. Moving back, we start seeing freezing rain accumulations um, tonight. Um, you know after you know 6 p.m. Places like Hayville beginning to pick up a little bit of freezing rain. You can see that it's expanding. Uh, that second pink color is where we could see, you know, considerably more problems. It just doesn't take almost any freezing rain to cause glazing. You're going to watch out for your exposed surfaces first, your decks, your steps, uh, you know, your um, bridges. Those are going to go first. And then as that icing continues. Now, this is 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning, showing the icing expanding southward. And that's why the weather service in Birmingham is saying that they may have to expand this winter weather advisory further to the south. You can see we're beginning to get icing as far south as uh, Jackson and Grove Hill and Clark County, perhaps into Monroe County. Uh, moving up into Perry and Dallas counties around Selma. Areas really from Selma over to Alex City uh, could have uh, winter weather advisories extended their way. Uh, you can see a little heavier icing there across some um, places like uh, uh, Winston, Marion County, perhaps Coleman County into the northeastern part of the state. That one-tenth of an inch is something that we'll have to um, really keep a close eye on, see, uh, see how it develops. Now, these are all right, let's go back and, and peek at snow totals. Um, 
that's you know a lot, what a lot of people want to hear about snow breaking out overnight you might see a uh, dusting to an inch but you see as we go through the morning hours those snow accumulations will increase five inches there in southern tennessee at lawrenceburg uh, by tuesday morning 3.7 called for um, uh, there uh, in southern lawrence county perhaps at molton uh, maybe uh, you know, getting close to a, a dusting to one inch across north central Alabama, and that's where we'll sort of freeze those snow totals. Now, what happens the rest of the week? The snow moves on out of here. Uh, the freezing rain moves out of here during the day on Tuesday. Um, we begin to improve. Wednesday will be warmer. Uh, we'll still be in the 30s, but at least we'll get above freezing. Uh, we'll start with a very hard freeze. Tuesday night will be our coldest night. Matter of fact, let's go back and look at our uh, temperatures that we expect for Tuesday morning, uh, because these are these are impressive. Uh, well, Wednesday morning. This is Tuesday night. Uh, single digits in North Alabama, uh, thirteen and uh, twelve and thirteen in the Birmingham, Aniston, Tuscaloosa areas, uh, sixteen, seventeen degrees Montgomery and Auburn, uh, South Alabama. Even Dothan doesn't get out of that with twenty-one. Hard freeze conditions Wednesday morning. Cannot stress this enough. Pipes will be a problem. Uh, we'll want to be ready for uh, whatever occurrences may happen. But as we get into, thurs into Thursday, uh, another system moving our way. It'll spread um, wintry precipitation to Kentucky and Tennessee. But here in Alabama, we'll be all liquid. I think the GFS is the most aggressive, maybe perhaps touching those extreme northern Alabama counties, the northern parts of them with a little wintry mix. But the European is even less bullish on that idea. So I think Alabama is all liquid precipitation for Thursday. It's moving out of here Thursday night. Uh, Friday, some snow still in the uh, Smoky Mountains, but we're dry and colder. Uh, we'll be in the teens Saturday and Sunday morning again. Uh, as we move out into the week two period, uh, temperatures will be much, much nicer. System moving through uh, Texas with some wintry conditions, but it won't be of any impact for us. Our next rain system comes in here. Uh, I'm going to have to switch over to my six hourlies and put us out here in time uh, at that system again, knocking on our door. It's moving in here uh, by Tuesday the 23rd, Wednesday the 24th, uh, a second wave of rain on the back side of that for Thursday the 28th, uh, or the 25th, and Friday the 26th. That system's on out of here. You could expect about two to three inches of rain with that system, uh, which will be quite nice. We continue to chip away at our drought, get into the weekend the 27th and 28th. We're okay, and it uh, looks like a, another system might be developing uh, there toward the end of the period uh, could bring us some rain uh, toward the end of the month. We'll kind of check in with the uh, European. Uh, we saw kind of how that how that did. Um, the second system that it brings in here for Thursday, you can see it's not as bullish on the wintry precipitation, uh, more of a liquid uh, variety. And then we get into Friday and out to the end of the period. Now, national blend of models, temperatures. Uh, 46 today at Birmingham, 44 tomorrow, start off about 30. We're in the deep freeze on Tuesday, 22 the morning low. Can't get out of the 30s uh, during the day. Can't get above 30, can't get above freezing. Uh, and then our coldest night will be Tuesday night, Wednesday morning with uh, single digits to the north, 12 in Birmingham. We'll climb back to 39 on Wednesday and back to 48 on Thursday. So that'll feel quite nice. Still quite cold Thursday morning with a hard freeze across much of the northern half of the state. 23 there. Uh, Friday's our transition day. Uh, 32 to start the day, but we get into the 40s by afternoon. We're back in the deep freeze. Don't break freezing on Saturday. 16 the low Saturday morning. And uh, Sunday, uh, we get back into the lower 40s uh, after a morning low of 17, which you can see. Uh, 58 on Wednesday the 24th. That is going to feel quite glorious. Uh, well, that's it for your video this morning. I've got notes on the blog, a complete update of the forecast. We'll continue to watch as the Weather Service um, jiggers those um, winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings around. And uh, if any changes come in the forecast, you'll be first to know about it right here on uh, the Alabama WOX weather blog. Well, James will be back. I'm sure he'll chime in at some point during the day today. Um, and then, uh, of course, he'll have two days tomorrow and, and all week. Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll see you next Sunday. And as I do, until I get that chance again, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.